This is our latest tropical system out here in the Western Pacific. It is Ulysses, named by Bagasa, likely will be named Vamco by the Japan Meteorological Agency. And I can tell you, over the course of the last eight hours from the last video I made, this storm system has strengthened. IR satellite imagery just shows that higher cloud tops aloft, you have plenty of decent inflow wrapping into the storm. And that tells me this has a lot of moisture to work with. And it is intensifying. Actually, winds right now are 55, gusting upwards of 83 kilometers per hour in that center of circulation with a pressure rate around 106 hectopascals moving off here towards the northwest at about 15 kilometers per hour. Let's take a look at that official track from the Japan Meteorological Agency here, though. And uh, yeah, they did upgrade this uh, to a tropical depression. Here's the key thing you notice here by Wednesday night, they expect it to become a typhoon prior to landfall here in the southeastern Luzon. This track here would be bad news. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, area still recovering from super typhoon Kony or Roli and another system, a tropical depression would be worse enough like we've seen with Tonio. Uh, on top of this, if it's a typhoon, it's going to cause some issue guys. Definitely something I'm worried about here. Uh, keep in mind though, the cone of air. We saw that with Coney as well. Remember the track changed all the way up to landfall. That's still possible with this, especially since this is still organizing, still starting to develop. So the track is still not 100% certain. If it was 100% certain, man, my job would be a lot easier, but that's not the case when we're talking about these systems. But there is confidence that it will go here to southeastern Luzon. Actually, just take a look at what some of the agencies are saying here. You have KMA, Pagasa, and JMA here, all matching up into a landfall crossing southeastern Luzon over there towards maybe northern Mindoro or south of Manila across parts of Cavite uh, there as well. So here's the main point, though. Uh, conditions do favor strengthening with this storm system, likely a typhoon prior to landfall and could, very well is going to be close to where Goni or Roli impacted out here and absolutely left just a swath of devastation. So those are the main points. Let's break down where, why this system's heading in this direction, why it's strengthening, and what are some of my thoughts with it? Well, first I do want to mention uh, Itao now. Actually, Tonio was named by JMA, finally upgraded to a tropical storm. I'll have another video out on this, by the way, because this is an interesting system as well. It's going to bring some more flooding across Vietnam. Then you have our system here. Continue to develop. It's going to kind of follow this convection you see off here towards the northwest. It's this troughing. You have that high pressure towards the north. This is going to run along the southern edge of that high pressure ridge, kind of into that direction. And that's one reason why the forecast track has confidence with it because there is a, some decent steering flow aloft here as to where this is going to go. What you're seeing here though, these are your wind barbs aloft. And basically what I like to look for here, here's your center of circulation. If you want an intensifying storm system, I'm not saying I do, but I'm just giving you an idea here. You would want these wind barbs to flow away from the center of circulation. Because remember a tropical system, you have inflow near the bottom the eye or the center of circulation, the air flows up, then it flows aloft out. That's what we're seeing here. This is one reason why I say I expect a tr intensifying storm. On top of that, you have the warm sea surface temperatures, which we all know about. We all know that 30 plus is bad juju out here. That means 30, 31 degrees, that is fuel on the fire that is allowing this to blow up and intensify. So let's talk about some of the guidance here. This is the ECMWF here on your Monday night, intensifying our storm as it moves towards the west. Here's a look heading into Tuesday. Also, by the way, here's our other storm system. Got a plenty of moisture out ahead of this. This is picking up on all that rainfall. So even though this is still well offshore, we may already start seeing showers across this area Monday, Tuesday, and yeah, into Wednesday night through Thursday morning. Here's a look at what the HWRF versus the GFS is saying heading into Wednesday night through Thursday morning. This is actually 0Z on Thursday, so this would be Thursday morning. But remember, if that track does pull further south, this would be closer to Wednesday night. HWRF is just going bonkers. Um, it's, see, from a meteorologist standpoint, you don't jump on the strongest model because HWRF does typically go bonkers with systems. 
but sometimes it does catch things and sometimes it is right. So we want to pay attention to this. This is alarming. 930 millibars at landfall. That would definitely be a strong typhoon. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm just saying uh, when I'm looking at the variables here, that's possible. One reason probably why Pagasa is saying, yeah, there's a possibility of a typhoon here. Plus, GFS is 960 millibars, which would be a typhoon as well. Typically, 970 is a typhoon mark. So why I 100% say with Bagasa, yep, I, I, I agree with them. I do believe this is going to be uh, a typhoon at landfall. Plus, those seasons, it's just so many variables here. And that's why I'm listing these things out to you guys. I could just come here, spout out the numbers, show you the track, get on out of here. But I like doing this as a hobby, and one reason why I like doing it is because I get to geek out with you and talk about all this stuff and hopefully help you out in the end. There's our ensemble, all pretty clustered together with the ECMWF as well, it's just showing that confidence on where the track is going to be going. So, yeah, that's just a quick look at this storm system. I'm going to make another uh, video, so watch out for it, on Itao or Tonio, major flood threat possible here across Central and Vietnam. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Let a friend know. I don't know. Just uh, the subscriptions help me out and hopefully I can help you guys out. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all that other stuff. Instagram, TikTok, if anybody else does it. I make videos there. Try to keep them weather related. And yeah, I also post sometimes at typhoon.ph, but be sure to check out Facebook groups like Pacific Typhoon Season and Western Pacific Weather. Absolutely fantastic information being shared there as well on these systems. Of course, number one thing, file Bagasa as well for the latest updates and warnings. And of course, um, stay safe out there.